Hi, I'm Marcello, and I'm going to show you how to monitor, track, and set alerts on pod restarts with Contain IQ. First, it's important to understand some of the reasons you may want to restart your pods. Two of the most common reasons to restart pods is if resource use isn't stated or if a pod is stuck in a terminating state. Additionally, a pod may need to be restarted if you encounter an error that can't be fixed, timeouts, mistaken deployments, or requesting persistent volumes that aren't available. Unfortunately, there is not a dedicated pod restart command in Kubernetes. However, that's not to say it is impossible. There are a few methods that allow you to restart your pods. The safest and most efficient method is using kubectl rollout restart command. With this method, the controller shuts down and subsequently restarts each pod in your deployment. This is best practice to restart pods as there is no application downtime and pods restart one by one without impacting the deployment. With Contain IQ's pre-configured dashboards, users can view events, metrics, and logs associated with a pod restarting. And from our events dashboard shown here, users can track all events that led up to the pod restarting and one-click correlate to the associated logs. Users can also use our pod metrics dashboard to view CPU and memory limits, color-coded based on usage to help determine if the pod is restarting due to insufficient resources. Lastly, you can set alerts on metrics or events leading up to the pod restarting or the events themselves. Alerts can be set on specific pods across all pods and be updated or deleted at any time. Thanks for watching.